This is Kurt Larsson from Anaholt. Now, this is a different view from the normal view. Um, I decided I'd use my camera instead, so uh, uh, it's a better picture and uh, hopefully now uh, a better sound. And um, I'm free to, to use my hands if I want to or read something and uh, so forth. Now, today's message is who do you feed? You know, we all need food, and our natural body, of course, uh, needs food. Jesus said in the, in the wilderness, as he was tempted with the devil, uh, remember, it was God's will, he, he was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil, the Bible says. And <clears throat> one, of the, uh, one of the temptations there was uh, when the devil said, if thou be the Son of God, uh, pray that these stones will be, become bread. And Jesus said then, you shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. That is a very, very uh, uh, important truth. Of course, Jesus, he always speaks the truth. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And, you know, we need food for our natural body. But if that's all we're going to get in this world, we perish because we need to be born again by the Word. God sent His Word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. We need the Word. We need God's Word because God's Word gives us life. And, but if we feed the body, uh, th there are two different ways. Uh, we can feed, uh, you know, the body and the soul. So if we feed <coughs> the body, uh, you know, we can we have all our special uh, things we like, and so have I, and probably you as well. And uh, and then uh, you know we we become fat or big or, or whatever if we eat a lot. And some of us don't, and you know I don't know what I am, and maybe I'm in the middle. And uh, and then also, after eating a normal meal, then we, some of us like sometimes a little bit of sweetness. So we have a, a sweet cake, or actually I have here, I, I bought from, uh, from Israel, uh, and or other types of biscuits and cakes, you know, with a bit of sweetness, and that's fine. This is good. This is all part of life. This is all part of what God wants to give us. <coughs> so that's how we how we uh, uh, feed our natural body. But, you know, once we become born again and have received the Word of God <coughs> and know Jesus, because you become born again in an instant, in an instant that you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and repented from your sin, you become born again. And <coughs> once you become born again, God wants to feed you with His Word. Now, you have the word inside you, you have accepted the word, Jesus, <coughs> and, 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 and the living word. Jesus is the, the written word and the, and the living word, and you have received Jesus. <coughs> and then you have other desires. You have desires to read the word of God, and, and you, you, you'd be so blessed, and the word of God opens up for you, and, and this becomes milk. This is milk. But reading the word of God is milk. <coughs> and... Uh, then as we have uh, uh, starting to read, we find, oh, well, I must do this. Not just read it, but I must do this. I, you know, uh, forgive them who trespass against us, you know, uh, and as we forgive others, you know. Um, so we're starting to forgive people, and, and, you know, we're starting to deny ourselves a little bit, and we start walking with him. <coughs> but then, you see, the devil doesn't give us up, uh, gives up completely, because once I become born again, and after a, a short moment, I realized that I have an enemy. Because before I was born again, before I accepted Jesus, I, I, uh, I, 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 didn't, uh, I wasn't aware of the devil that much, really. But when, when I say I accepted Jesus, I realized that the devil is my enemy. And now he doesn't give up. He comes and goes. Jesus is after the various temptations he had there in the wilderness, uh, the, the devil left him for a season. 
So sometimes we, uh, the devil leaves us for a season and he comes back and try to tempt us and put us off, off the uh, pathway to heaven, off the pathway of, of walking with the Lord. <coughs> and uh, then, you see, the old man, uh, you become born again. You are a new creature in Christ. But the old man is still there. We, b we are buried by him in, in, um, in the waters of baptism. But the old man, we just carry, carry that old man around with these uh, passions and the worldly passions. And, and, um, and as we sometimes devour or uh, uh, take a, a side step or, or, or a, a turn, left or right, uh, and starting to feed the flesh, you know, we start uh, looking at, uh, you know, movies and uh, uh, gangster movies and whatever, you know, whatever, I mean, uh, get into something else, uh, gambling or whatever, you know, we're starting to, uh, we're starting to be uh, feeling some e excitement about that because <coughs> the old man is not, uh, uh, well, it's dead, but, but you, you should resurrect him if you start giving him uh, food again. And to the one you feed will be stronger. So then you find out <coughs> what, what the Paul said in Romans chapter 7 is that, but to do the will of God, I know, but I don't do it. I, I, I know what to do, but I don't do it. And what I, what I don't do, um, uh, I hate. I mean, I, uh, I'm quoting it a little bit differently, <coughs> but <coughs> what I love, I love the word of God, but I don't do it. I found that in my body is, is the other man working, uh, working unto death. <coughs> so we struggle between the two, you see. This is natural. This is how, 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 how God is, is doing it with us. You are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. You are saved. You're not going into, in and out of hell all the time. No, you're saved by the blood of Jesus. You're saved. But God, uh, he expects you to grow up. Jesus said, sometimes to the disciples when he was frustrated and said, how long shall I be with you? You know, you, you, you're not growing up. And, uh, you know, God wants us to grow up. So <coughs> we are not to feed the old man because we feed him with the works of the flesh. In Galatians chapter 5, uh, starting at verse 19, you're reading about the works of the flesh. You know, and there's a whole list of them. And then it says, and, and such like, and everything, you know, all the strong desires, you know. A strong desire is, is something, uh, something uh, um, difficult to handle unless you, <coughs> you humble yourself before the Lord. And the Lord will lift you up. The Lord will give you victory. Yes, He will. He will. And He does listen to you when you are <coughs> suffering he also provides a way of escape. So it's not, not all, all together that difficult. But uh, we, we are to uh, start to denying ourselves. Paul said, It's no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. <coughs> so we are starting a life now, as a Christians, of... <coughs> starving the old man and feeding the new man. That's the ideal thing. Because the more you starve the old man, you find that, that you, you're finding strength from, from uh, feeding the new man. And <coughs> there are two types of food that you can give yourself the new man. That is first by reading the word of God, that's the milk. And then by applying that truth and actually doing the will of God. Jesus said, uh, at the uh, w uh, at the um, um, well, the, where the uh, woman at the well, he said to the disciples after that uh, the uh, woman had gone away and to the town and uh, and he was there alone and the disciples came back with the food, <coughs> and he said, "I have food that you don't know about," and that is the food. That food is to do the will of the Father. So when you actually do the will of the Father. You actually carry out that. You are so convinced in your spirit that this is, the, this is right. This is the word of God to do it. Uh, this is what the word says. You know, uh, in, <coughs> in everything that, the, uh, that is written in the Bible, in tithing, uh, tithes and offerings, to actually do. Yeah, you know, do tithe because you believe in it. And you know, uh, 
that's one thing and, and <coughs> giving to the poor as, as you feel led by the spirit you know uh, that's that's the uh, that's a, a deed that that is lasting through the fire you know <coughs> when you go through the fire we all have to pass through the fire um, and that's the grace of God the mercy of God that we pass through the fire praise God because all the dead works that I have done is going to be burned up in the fire yet he himself will be saved as though fire <coughs> and uh, that that is good and the our works that we do that is work for the flesh is like wood stay and humble humble you know it's, it, it burns up it's, it's worth absolutely nothing that is worth nothing no value whatsoever but what you have done in faith that is what you bring with you to heaven that is your reward and well in heaven you get a reward for doing uh, the, the the works of God and I inspire you now and in the name of Jesus encourage you to do and to grow in the name of Jesus and stop feeding the old man stop starving out in the name of Jesus Christ and <coughs> don't do don't carry out that fight alone be active in a church join a church join a church where you find that you you find life life and activity and and, and, and if you feel peace there and you feel that you're being fed in a church go and tell the pastor look I want to become active in this church I want to join this church to do the will of God <coughs> God has given you gifts and everyone he's given gifts to everyone and just if you have that gift one or two gifts they will be developed further and further hallelujah and God has also given the gifts of the Holy Spirit in 1st Corinthians 12 the word of wisdom and power and discernment and all the rest of them uh, and he has given some of those gifts to you or and to each one of us uh, so that when we come together the Holy Spirit is there to work uh, you know amongst all of us because we are like living stones not dead stones <coughs> so I just encourage you uh, and myself also uh, to, to, to start feeding the new man with milk and, and strong meat and starving the old man. Hallelujah.